Today is Ash Wednesday. I don't know if you can still see a cross on my forehead here. Uh, we had to do Ash Wednesday in a new way. Uh, we didn't touch anybody's foreheads. We took uh, um, uh, a Q-tip on a long stick and rolled it in the ashes and olive oil and then painted a pretty cross on each, each person's forehead. And uh, it turned out so much nicer than when I do it with my thumb that I think we'll probably do that from here on out. Uh, but the symbol of ashes isn't a symbol of darkness. It's a symbol of getting things back to their basic elements. Uh, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We come from dust and from to dust we will return. Um, it's saying that uh, the God made us out of the very, <clears throat> very basic elements of the universe and that we do well to understand that for all the marvelous things we can do, for all the marvelous ways that we can create, all the love that we can share, all the gifts that we can give to other people, we are God's wonderful, complex, simple creation from dust. Now, as far as what we do during Lent, a lot of uh, churches have a, a strong tradition of fasting. Um, my understanding, my personal understanding of fasting <clears throat> is that um, I should stop doing anything that harms my relationship with God and with other people. That's always true. It's also true during Lent. I should also add any practices that help me to have a relationship with God and with other people that is healthy and strong and supportive. And that's always true, and it is especially true also in Lent. So I'm going to share um, a psalm. This actually isn't a, a traditional psalm for Lent, but it's just one that's been very meaningful to me. Uh, it's Psalm 16. Protect me, O God. For in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones in the land, they are the noble in whom is all my delight. Those who choose another God multiply their sorrows. They drink their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a good heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. In the night also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up to Sheol or let my faith, the, your faithful one see the pit. <clears throat> you show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Well, I will be uh, doing lots of therapy work <clears throat> in my healing uh, throughout this time of Lent. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I encourage you uh, to do whatever things uh, build up your life before God and with other people. Let this be a time of building up towards joy, towards love, towards full commitment of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat>